Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card for May 13th, 2022. AngelSouls444.com for personal readings and all of the other announcements, Substack, Bright, all of the events, all the good stuff going on, it's in the description box below, including joining Patreon for a dollar a month, you get extra readings. I'm making like a lot of extra content for that. All right, so we have Eternal Love. Anytime this card comes out, it feels very karmic, okay? Now we go into this huge long conversation about karmic relationships, but let me just read it first. Help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. This eternal love for some people can mean a karmic partner that shows up and just creates all this electricity and distortion to jolt you awake, to make you go, oh, I'm super codependent. I need to fix that or <laughs> not need to fix it, but you know what I'm saying. Or you know what? Um, I shouldn't allow myself to be treated this way. Or you know what? I do need to be more open and honest about how I feel. I'm a, I'm a runner. I'm a runner when like I start to feel like I'm getting really close to somebody. It's like, I don't know why. I'm all about the love and I'm all about everybody else being in love. But the second it starts happening for me, I'm like, I, I don't know what to do with this. This is whoa, you know, and I <laughs> end up running away. So there you go. There's one of the big reasons why I'm single, probably amongst many others. But anyway, eternal love, once you get past that sort of um, distortion, <laughs> right, there can be for some people who have learned from that. Now that doesn't guarantee that that's that same partner. I guess it could be if both have grown, okay, quite a bit and, and changed. But this is opening the door for a really beautiful connection. When we say eternal love, it can be romantic, okay? And that's what it feels like is coming up. Uh, but it can also just be, you know, laying down any hatred and allowing yourself to love unconditionally. The eternal love does talk about soul family love. It talks about soul connections. That's why, you know, when we talk about soulmates and people are like, where's my soulmate? I'm like, there's probably like 100,000 of them out there. Which one are you talking about? <laughs> we have to remember that souls, uh, these soul buddies come along to help us wake up and realize things about ourselves. And when we get into that place of sort of, um, you know, getting through that lesson or that understanding, that growth, a love connection can happen. Or maybe you start to feel more open about expressing love, allowing yourself to connect with friends and family. And, or, you know, even if you grew up in a toxic family, maybe you are forming your own family. Maybe you have your friends or your family. You see what I'm saying? So get past the initial lesson that maybe love or whether it's romantic or family or friends or whatever, get past that initial uh, challenge to go a little bit deeper and understand first and foremost, I am the source of my own love and that should never be anybody else's responsibility. And when I show up as a whole and complete person, now there is no neediness in the love. It can just be all right. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.